hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm daisy of the daisy Couture. so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make this wonderful cow neckline box um top yeah with no back you can see, look at how beautiful this is you can rock it with any type of trouser so without further ado let's jump right into it <laughs> Okay, so the measurements, the major measurements you need is um, the length. The length, you need the length, um, you need um, your shoulder to waist and you need your shoulder to bust point. But the major is the length so, and also you need your bust circumference. So now, to achieve that cow effect, it depends on how deep you want it to be. So for this, I'm going to be subtracting three inches away from my full measurements my full the full length of um this top is um 21 inches so i'm going to be subtracting three from it so um i'm sorry the camera is out of coverage it was after i finished um recording that i noticed but in the subsequent one you see how i um took the measurement so i'm taking the measurement three inches away so um uh, and I'll mark like so. Note is only the front pattern that we are going to be drafting because it's only the front um that we have the major material, just like you see in the picture. So you can see what I'm saying. I started three inches away from my starting point. So now the next is my waist, my shoulder to waist, which is 16. So if you want it deeper, you can start yours maybe like four inches or five inches. But I feel that three inches is um okay and is it's actually perfect. So three inches, but then it depends on your preference. I'm not just going to you know lead you in one direction. So it depends on what you want. So now the next is um my bust um point. Like I said, the major um um this boss point is not like it's not really important but then anyways i need it to to be able to locate um so now over to the next one so i'm just um labeling it um like so so i need the boss point because that's where i'm going to be putting my boss um circumference so after labeling it now the next thing is the bus circumference the bus circumference we're going to be dividing it by four so that's what i'm trying to do bus circumference is um 36 so i'm dividing by four so after getting your own please make sure you're using the accurate measurement okay so i'll just place it from the center front like so so now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to use that same um but cut of the bus circumference all through my um vertical lines so like so just to watch it's actually very simple very simple to do In less than 10 minutes you're done so i'm going to be placing it on my starting line as well and i'm going to connect the dots like that so if you're yet to subscribe please do so subscribe we're supposed to get to that one thousand and beyond and if you've learned one or two things please put it in the comment section if you want me to teach you something else put it in this comment section as well so that um i'll be able to walk towards it so now the next thing is i want the waist to be a um a bit you know tighter so i'm going to be coming in by one inch it's actually optional you can decide to leave it like this or you can decide to make it tighter so everything depends on you but you can actually leave it like this it's still going to come out nice so now to achieve the box effect so from the waistline i'm going to be connecting directly to the center front just like um i'm doing in the video just to watch very simple so it's going to give out that box um that box um effect 
so it's going to give that triangular effect you can decide to make yours a sharp edge you can decide to make it a little bit rounded you can decide to you know just let your creativity guide you just like um i used to say so i've leave it that is my center front and i'm going to be cutting that on fold so now the next is to cut i decide to cut on camera so that we don't get confused on how to do it this is very very beginner friendly you can do this with little or no knowledge on how to sew just follow what i'm doing just cut it like that so that's the only pattern we need for this top so now um i want to cut out the pattern i'm going to be using this um wonderful fabric it's a spandex fabric and it's black in color so just watch the way i'm folding i'm going to be folding it like i'm folding i want to cut um booba so i'm going to be folding into four the reason why i'm doing um that is um so that the upper part is not going to have joining you get so and all my sewing is going to be eating so everything is going to be neat all your sewing everything is going to be eating and everything so it's going to look more professional if you do it this way but if you don't have enough fabric you can just cut your fabric normal normal and then you search the but then my advice for you just do this it's going to come out neater and nicer okay you can use one yard of fabric for this so you can see the way i folded it like that so um i'm going to place my pattern i'm going to place my pattern on it and then i cut make sure that center front should be where um the folded part is you can see the way i placed see the way i placed it so the center front is going to be on fold like that the upper part so is on fold and close so it's just down part we're going to sew and everything is going to come out nicer and neater so now let's go into the sewing yep so now make sure the right side is facing the right side so where you are seeing right now is the wrong side of the fabric so remember that we came down three inches so now i want to place my um my loop so i went ahead to cut four pieces so um you can use two inches in length and um one inch one inch or 1.5 in width so you sew it and then you turn it to the other side you cut into four so two inches you can use two to 2.5 inches to form the loop so i'm going to be placing one on my bust point like so so i'm going to pin it down it's actually optional you can decide not to put it on your bust point and you just decide to put it on your waist or you can decide to make multiple loops and put it at strategic points your bust uh, your under bust um your waistline you get so just let your creativity guide you so see the way i am placing it like so so i'll pin it down so that you know this spanish fabric is it's not that like really easy to work with so it's better to pin everything and put it in place so now i went ahead to make um this long strap is um about 48 inches in length and also um um you can use two inches or 1.5 depending on how big you want your strap to be you know how fat you want it to be so you can see the way i placed it i put it inside because that is supposed to show on the right side so look at the way i position everything the loop and the strap so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to do the same thing on the other side but when you sew you sew everything you won't, you're not going to close everything up like that so you just leave little place little place to turn it out and then use invisible stitching there is a video on that you can check my description box thank you